Thank you for watching the ACS Library. My name is Kyle and I aim to help you prepare for the private pilot checkride for free in just 5 minutes a day. In today's video, we will discuss density altitude. This video builds on the previous video discussing pressure altitude. Density altitude is defined as pressure altitude further corrected for non-standard temperature. For practical purposes, density altitude is the altitude at which the aircraft feels like it is performing. As density increases, density altitude decreases, as we would expect to find denser air at a lower altitude. We can expect a decrease in density and an increase in density altitude with any increase in altitude, temperature, or humidity, and the opposite as those three values decrease. Density has a significant effect on aircraft and engine performance. Any increase in density altitude results in a decrease in aircraft and engine performance. This is because the less dense air found at a higher density altitude results in reduced induction and effectively reduced airflow over airfoils, like the propeller and wings. There are a few ways to calculate density altitude. The easiest way would be to view density altitude listed on the ForeFlight application's decoded METAR report, or to listen to it via ATIS if it's reported. If that option is not available to you, you may calculate density altitude using your E6B, following along with the steps provided. Assuming we are at a pressure altitude of 6,500 feet, with the winds and temps aloft reporting a temperature of 12 degrees Celsius at 6,000 feet, based on the standard lapse rate of negative 2 degrees Celsius per 1,000 feet we climb, we can assume that the temperature at 6,500 feet is 1 degree cooler than that at 6,000, so we'll say 11 degrees Celsius. The next step is to align our pressure altitude and temperature, which I had already done. One thing to point out is that positive temperature values are to the left of the zero, which throws a lot of people off. Try not to let that catch you off guard. Once we have these values aligned, we read density altitude in the window just above the marker depicted. Here, we have a density altitude of just about 8,000 feet. To do this by hand, we would use the formula shown. We will take the current outside air temperature and subtract the expected temperature based on standard atmosphere or international standard atmosphere from that value. Next, we multiply the sum by 120, add all of that to our calculated pressure altitude, and we are left with density altitude. In order to do this, we must find all of these values. For today's example problem, we are cruising at 6,500 feet in the vicinity of San Diego International or Kilo Sierra Alpha November. Following the procedure discussed in the video over pressure altitude, based on the altimeter setting at Kilo Sierra Alpha November, I have found a pressure altitude of 6,540 feet at the time of this video. We will plug that into the equation. Based on the winds and temperatures aloft, we see that a temperature of 17 degrees Celsius is forecasted at 6,000 feet near San Diego International. We expect to find an outside air temperature 1 degree cooler 500 feet above that altitude at our selected cruising altitude of 6,500. Leaving us with our expected outside air temperature, we can plug that value into our equation now as well. International standard atmosphere value is simply the expected temperature based on lapse rate. At sea level, we expect a temperature of 15 degrees Celsius, decreasing by 2 degrees for every 1,000 feet we climb. We plan to be at 6.5 thousand feet above sea level. 2 times 6.5 is 13, and after we subtract 13 from 15, we find our expected temperature of 2 degrees Celsius. We can plug that value in now. Next, perform the calculation below. 16 minus 2 is 14. 14 times 120 equals 1,680. 1,680 plus our pressure altitude of 6,540, and voila, we are left with our expected density altitude of 8,220. Again, this is the altitude that our aircraft will feel that it is performing at. The higher the density altitude, the lower the aircraft performance. I hope that today's video has helped density altitude become a bit easier to digest. Pressure altitude and density altitude are two of the tougher concepts to really grasp and conceptualize. Just remember, as density goes up, density altitude goes down. When density decreases, density altitude increases. This concludes today's video over density altitude. Thank you, as always, for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, I hope that you might like it. Subscribe, share, or comment below. Safe flying.